Hi there. This is what happens if you let uh, laminate lay when you have only laminated one side. This side you see, but not this one. Um, I was planning on being much quicker than I was and uh, I wanted to have uh, glass fiber on this surface extend into the rest of the hull. Uh, but as the time went by, the humidity of uh, in the wood uh, decreased. And the wood does shrink. So um, now I'm stuck with this laminate, and uh, this is no good. I have to wait for um, for summer to arrive if I'm going to use this one. So instead, I'm going to make uh, a new piece. In a previous episode, you saw me make the whole piece. So here I quickly put the strips together to form a new joining hull piece. Thin epoxy to penetrate into the small gaps. Followed by a thickened epoxy to stay in the bigger gaps. Here I show the process more in detail on the deck joining piece. I glue these strips together with thin epoxy. This penetrates well into the small gaps and at the vertical strips up here at the edge. Also in under the masking tape. When all surface areas are covered, I mix up some thickened epoxy. With a higher viscosity of this mixture, I can fill also bigger gaps the epoxy will stay in the bigger gaps and will not sink in under the strips as uh, the thin epoxy does. At some areas the strips are not even and I put some pressure on them. Especially up at the edges there is a need for clamps. The day after I can remove the clamps. And the masking tape. This looks usable. I fill the gaps from this side as well, with somewhat thickened epoxy. After sanding and trimming the surface, I cut out the glass. Saturate the surface with thin epoxy and then with thickened epoxy. Before adding the glass. Striking out the air. Saturating the cloth with epoxy. And after a few hours, I fill the unevenness with some more thickened epoxy. The day after, I can clean cut the piece. And a new layer of epoxy on any exposed areas. Now the inside. I trim the edge so it appears straight. Then I draw a straight line using the bulkhead as a mold on both sides. Now I can trim the edge exactly. On the side facing inwards I sharpen the edge. This will allow the glass to follow the transition more easily. A similar treatment for the deck piece. Trimming the edge and the other side and sharpen the inwards facing edge. First test fit. Now checking the distances to the bulkheads. Sanding and testing. Sanding and testing. More trimming 
more fitting. Same with the deck. Starting to look good. Inside again, I cut the glass to cover the edge before I can add the joining piece. The end wood needs to be saturated before I can add the glass. And thicken epoxy. It is a bit tricky to get the glass strips to stick. With a glove on the hand, I dab it in place. After a few hours, I add a second coat. And then a third. With the leftover epoxy, I laminate the inside. Fill the gaps with the rubber tool. After half a day of curing, the excess can be cut off. Outside, I cut down the glossiness of the laminate. And vacuum off the dust. Same with the deck piece. Final test fit. I need to trim off the part of the flange that overlaps with the joining piece. And prepare the deck for epoxy bonding with the joining piece. The dust is allergenic, so I reduce the risk for allergy by vacuum off all parts, including myself. Some tape needs to go as well. The joining piece fits, almost. In the bend I might get some problem. Some force is applied with clamps. But the bottom is out of reach and screws are necessary. Some glass will help with bridging the gap. Now the joining. In the band I apply more glass. And an extra stroke of very thick epoxy. Before setting the joining in place. The edge gets an extra stroke of thick epoxy. The procedure is repeated with the deck. I measure out 10 cm overlap. Dry fit and notice problem with the bend at the deck edge. Brutal force using clamps gets the deck in place, but also results in some small cracks. All steps are dry fitted before the final gluing. There is little time to adjust problems when the curing has started. Now the gluing. Also here I use some glass and thickened epoxy to level any unevenness between the deck and the joining piece. With clamps and screws I will get this in place. The cracks get some extra treatment. After the curing, I remove the clamps and the screws. There are still some gaps in the joining and I add thickened epoxy. Here I let the hole rest in about 20 degrees angle to keep the epoxy in place. The joining piece fits reasonably well. I mount a fresh coarse belt on the belt sander. To take care of the joining edge. This needs to be close to 90 degrees to make a tight fit with the rest of the hole. The joining also needs to be smooth in the other direction. The hull piece is a bit high and I trim it. As well as a deck piece. Now I trim the transformation to the rest of the deck. 
I will lay to laminate glass over this transformation to make it strong. I will let it extend a few centimeters into the other parts of the hole. The belt sander left a small remaining with an oscillating rasp and remove it. Now I will try it. It fits. But I will need to remove a small area behind the front cockpit. This will give room for the watertight bulkheads between the front and the back cockpit. I changed tool to a rasp again. Now I can fit the parts together. Some small polishing. In a later episode I will continue to work on the joining. This is as far as I got this time. Thank you for watching.